Hello guys and welcome to another Body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future videos just like this one. Today's tutorial, we're going to take you guys through six brutal calisthenic skill exercises. The first exercise is the German hang to back lever reps. The key in this exercise is to establish a firm scapular protraction engagement right from the hanging position. It's also vital that you consciously try to keep a compact hollow body without arching the back as you attempt to raise in the back lever horizontal position. It's also wise that we try to keep the rings twisted towards a pronated grip so that way we're able to fully and efficiently engage the scapular protraction. The second exercise is the band assisted iron cross. Although band assisted, this exercise is very difficult and high in intensity. Try to maintain a palm grip or even a false grip so that way we recruit the forearms into the movement. It's important that we place the band correctly for this exercise as this will give us optimal assistance and enable us to maintain still while inside the band. third exercise are the cliff top sit-ups. It's vital that we don't enable any spine hyperextension to take place as this could be a detriment towards our spine health. In fact, try to maintain a hollow torso at all times, especially in the bottom phase of the movement. The next exercise is the front lever hold combined with a front lever raise and an ice cream maker. Of course, this exercise can be readjusted to an advanced tuck or even a half lay, depending on how strong your scapula retraction engagement is. It's vital that for this exercise, we create separation between the three movements. Meaning that we hold the front lever before raising and once again, controlling the eccentric phase of each movement before performing the ice cream maker and the raise. By momentarily pausing between each exercise ensures that we do not use any kind of momentum to cheat each movement and that instead we are using our raw strength through our scapular engagement. Now we have the 90 degree deficit pause handstand push-up. This obviously requires a great deal of shoulder strength and 90 degree handstand practice. You can also regress this exercise by not pausing on the floor, but pausing in the bent arm planche position. You can further regress this exercise even more by performing just the negative portion and performing a push up to end up in the support position. The final exercise in our top six brutal calisthenics exercises is the deficit handstand push up on the tall parallel bar setup. Click the card above to watch our full tutorial on how to perform this exercise correctly, step by step. We'll give you technical analysis on both execution and form, so that way we can perform this exercise with safety and success. Thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. If you guys found value then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3pm European Easter Summer Time. For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenics Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Body Stenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Body Stenics coach. See you guys in the next video.